all right what's up y'all out there i am gonna do this second freaking video again i'm gonna do a second freaking video okay i'm about to uh delete all this stuff right here we're gonna start from scratch all right i'm gonna pull up a, a instant kit it's gonna drop it in my first group and i'm gonna make a little small beat uh let me cut it down a little bit so i won't be busting in y'all ears because it's gonna be a, just a demo so we're gonna hit the record and start a little small house track that i just whipped up in one second or five seconds to be honestly with you but this is what the video is gonna be today named to my new subscriber out there thank you for subscribing out there my boy so uh we're gonna deal with these we're gonna do well today is we got it's a third party plugin not plugin but an application that you will have to install it's called loopback excuse me loop b1 and it's an internal port basically it's a virtual import for your computer hardware system to hook up to any DAW anything that um, that routes MIDI information and if you know how to work with that you know and stuff like um, bombs MIDI translator and stuff like that you'll be aware to uh, what kind of things you can do with MIDI now enough about the back talk we made the beat time to get to the locks so we're gonna hit shift and lock uh, I'm on the M3 so I'm gonna delete these first ones I got so I hit I hit number one pad and it's gonna light up my first pad you can't see it because I don't have a screen to do that but I got my first pad lit and then I'm a mute with my mouse I'm gonna mute some more tracks and I'm gonna hit the next one and then I'm gonna reverse it take these back out and put these back in and we're gonna make it three uh, and I'm gonna make uh, a clap solo for the fourth cool so if I hit I'm slowing down so if I hit I'm in screen, I'm in um, external locks. So if I hit pad one, you see it switch to all pads on. If I hit the pad two, ooh, I guess I didn't, okay. I got it on travel, excuse me. So um, I'm gonna take morph off. So if I hit pad two, two, three, four, five, excuse me, two, three, and four, I can't count, we'll cut off. Then if I hit three, we got one, two out, five, six, seven out, and then we if I hit four, we got solo with six. Cool, we got that. So what you wanna do is go to another group. Ooh, crap, I didn't tell you about the first part. So go to file, go to preference. Go to your MIDI tab, once it pull up, you wanna go to your MIDI tab. And then your input devices, you wanna check your loop B after your uh, after you got your application going and after you uh, start it you want to have your input to be loop B internal recording your output loop B internal recording I mean excuse me loop B internal MIDI so once you got those two locks uh, hit close and go to a new group this is the step after we have made the uh, external locks go to a sound and then hit control R oops hit control R on the sound or just rename it crap I'm just gonna rename it to lock one I'm just gonna name it to lock one cool so we got that locked now we want to do a little housekeeping so what you want to do is go to your uh, input um, it's set to default we're just gonna leave it on default and for output 
your output go to MIDI not your audio go to MIDI and then go to your destination and your destination will be your loop B internal MIDI and then your channel Wow okay so we're gonna make this channel 5 okay I didn't get to go uh, after you did a little housekeeping you want to go up here to your uh, gear your global gear shift and then go to MIDI change uh, I'm gonna go to lock I'm gonna enable lock my source will be loop B and my trigger will be MIDI note and my channel will be 5 because we want to make it correspond to the sound so we're gonna close that if you do, when we did our housekeeping our input is on 5 channel 5 and our output loop B channel 5 do not mess with the transpose okay so let's make a four bar loop and now and if I go well when you go to extended locks and in this mode they start at C negative 2 all the way to the bottom not C2 not this but all the way to the bottom okay now if you click up if you click a pad we're gonna make it one fourth I'm gonna hit this that's pad one uh, pad two is uh, C sharp and uh, D is pad three and D sharp is pad four see see if I move this around and I'm gonna play this beat after I kind of toss in a couple stuff to make you make it more relaxing let me see let's make an A bar do 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 make an A bar and then just uh, from here to here a four one two three four C D C sharp D and D sharp and just mess them around now let's play the beat if you go to if you go to a group look at your group change that's awesome I mean basically you can arrange your stuff after you make your beat you can arrange it uh, by making MIDI uh, excuse me by making external locks and then triggering your external locks that is so great this is my video on external locks and loop B internal MIDI recording so thank y'all for looking at my video and y'all have a good night okay